Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mystery Box Monday. It's a series that I'm doing where I pick up mystery boxes online and open them up. This is supposedly the best mystery box on eBay. We're going to go through the listing and then we're going to take it and open it up and see what we can find. The description tells us it's the best mystery box on eBay. And he also has some feedback we'll look at. Tons of rookie cards, which you know I love rookies. Says he bought a very large sport card collection over two years ago. And he's got tired of listing these cards in singles or small lots. He's going to put them in mystery boxes and see how it goes. Since his objective is to unload all these quality cards quickly, he says it makes sense to make some really nice lots and get some great feedback and uh, get lots of people, make some repeat customers. He says he has a ton of different types of memorabilia, bobbleheads, graded cards, rookie cards, etc. Lots of great stuff in here. Goes on to say that he's had many repeat customers. And he also goes on to say, check out the feedback. The people say, love these mystery boxes, fun and great buys. The mystery card box is the greatest item on eBay. Excellent. Once again, mystery box full of autos, relics, big league rookies. Loved it. Rookies like Acuna Jr. and Vlad. So we are going to take a look at the picture and then we'll go open this up. This is what this guy is working with. He's got a nice large collection there. Probably a good 400 to 500,000 cards. So let's go see what he put in this mystery box right now. All right, here we go. It's time to open up our mystery box on another episode of Mystery Box Monday. I picked this up on eBay, as you saw, and supposedly, and I have marked it mystery there so I could separate it from the other boxes and cases I had coming in. Um, but anyway, this is one of the best on eBay, supposedly, so I'm hoping it comes through and is a big hit. We shall see. The person is getting rid of their entire collection, and we have a sponsor for this mystery box, and it is going to be, there we go, mystery box two. I guess they have a series. The sponsor is Trav's Pack Pulls. Trav's going to be getting all of the cards from this mystery box. He also has a YouTube channel. He's closing in on 400 subscribers. If you'd like to check him out, I will put a link in the description. He posts baseball card content pretty much every day. And uh, today he was just opening some heritage uh, hanger boxes from 2020 and 2019. So check out Trav. Trav, thank you very much. If you'd like to sponsor videos like this one, like Trav did, or participate in my case breaks, there is a link in the description for you to sign up on my Patreon page to participate in all of that. So anyway, here we go. The mystery box looks pretty interesting. It's a big white box. Um, doesn't look like your typical um, baseball card standard box. I see sleeved cards in there, so that's exciting. Let's... We'll get going. So supposedly this seller used to sell a bunch of individual cards on eBay, like some folks usually do for like 99 cents a card, but they got tired of it because it's really slow um, to see a profit when you do that. And a lot of work too, uh, shipping off one card at a time. Um, so he decided to liquidate his collection and put it into mystery boxes. Supposedly there's hits in here. There's nice sleeve cards. There might even be some packs. Let's see what we've got. I do see it looks like probably an 88 Donruss pack there, maybe 91 Donruss. Uh, might have a cello pack up here, but here we go. It's a mystery box, mystery boxes. We don't know what the heck we're going to get. Uh, I paid $40 for the box, so let's get right to it and see what we've got. All right, so we got a nice Topps Chrome Hank Aaron card there, which is nice. Jock Peterson, Yadier Molina, back when they were a young insert card. This Mickey Mantle, don't get too excited. That's a reprint. It looks like we have the entire Bowman reprint set uh, from 1989. These were inserted one per pack. That's uh, pretty cool, actually. That set might be worth a couple dollars at least. There's a nice Carpkin Jr. commemorating his uh, 2,131st consecutive game record that he set way back in 1995, breaking Lou Gehrig's mark. Got a nice Dom Angley reprint. A rookie card of Bradley Zimmer is not too bad. I like Bradley Zimmer a lot. And I also really appreciate rookie cards. So I'm glad to see some rookie cards of some players in here um, that are current. Like Jonathan Lucroy, rookie card. Michael Franco, despite being sent down last year, is not a bad one at all. I hate these coins, but um, I'm sure Travis could find a use for that. Cody Bellinger, Aaron Judge. You got a Byron Buxton, which is a nice one. What else? You got George Springer and Andrew McCutcheon. Uh, who is this guy? Nice mustache here. Is that Bill Buckner? No, not Bill Buckner. Some guy named Bob something. That kind of has the Bill Buckner mustache going. Uh, Alex Bregman, first Bowman. That might be my favorite one so far. Of course, Alex Bregman, whenever his cards pop up 
in our breaks. People always poo-poo Bregman and the Astros, but that's actually a pretty darn good card right there. I like that one. Got a Ken Griffey Jr. card, Nick Williams rookie card. So overall right now, I'm pretty happy that they're not quote-unquote all commons. We're seeing stars. We're seeing some cards worth uh, a little bit of value at least. Now, I was worried I was going to open up this mystery box and see a bunch of 1991 Fleer 92 triple play, and that hasn't been the case. A nice Jorge Alfaro rookie card as well. John Carlos Stanton, Starlin Castro rookie card. Uh, we have an old throwback card, 1965 rookie stars. I get excited when I see these old cards from the 50s and 60s. A Jose Cardinal rookie card there. Very, very nice. I'm putting that in the, the good pile, too. I'm going to get that one in a sleeve for you, Trav, because I think it deserves one. Ryan Braun, we got a first Bowman of Russell Wilson, um, who I believe is a quarterback in the NFL. I don't know much about football, but I do think that I know that. We have a one of these, uh, what were these called? These play ball cards from 1968. That's one of those reprint cards. What else we got? Henry Owens, who never really material, materialized into much. We have a 1968 original. Very nice. Like seeing that kind of stuff. George Springer, first Bowman card. And it's a real one. How about that one? So, looks like this seller doesn't want anything to do with his good Astros rookie cards. Maybe he also tossed in a, um, a Jose Altuve 2011 Tops update. How about that? George Springer, who is a major, major star in today's game. You get his first Bowman card. Ryan Braun, Sports Flicks card. Todd Frazier, rookie card, is a nice one. Tony Gwynn, 94 Tops gold, I like. Williams Astudio, been seeing lots of his cards recently in the breaks. There's a nice Mike Trout, Matt Adams, and a game used patch card of Tommy Pham, another guy that's um, really kind of his stock has gone up the past couple of years. Um, Tommy Pham, nice game used jersey there from Don Russ. We'll get that in a thick sleeve for you, Trav. Some nice cards so far from this mystery box. Very happy. Every now and then you get some uh, surprises on eBay and they'll give you some stuff that's good. And then uh, you might get complete trash. And I'm sure in this series, Mystery Box Mondays, we're going to have some boxes that are complete trash. Just people dumping their 91 uh, overprinted cards and stuff. But uh, here we go. Uh, Brian Giles, who used to be a major slugger for the Buccos. It's his game used bat from Don Russ 2001. That is a nice card. So another hit. Got a Garrett Cole Heritage card. Dale Murphy, a Gary Sanchez rookie card. Congratulations on that one, Trav. Nice hit right there. David Wright, we got Jose Abreu rookie card. So already, I I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I really want to know what your grand total value of this box would be. There's Colton Wong, first Bowman card. That's a nice one as well. Another established player, Jose Peraza, is kind of taking a few steps back. Recently, Corey Hart used to be a nice hitter for – he played for the Pirates for a little while, but mostly with the Brewers, some Kyrie Juniors. Trevor Story would be really nice to find his rookie card in this box somewhere. There's a Paul Goldschmidt chrome card. Love the look of this card. It's a 1989 Topps design and beautiful design. I love the chrome cards. Uh, Topps chrome is such a nice product. This is from 2014. Uh, what else do we have here? We have – uh, Hector Oliveira, rookie, and Chris Lane throwing out the first pitch, which you guys have told me, uh, do not just toss these first pitch cards aside because some of them have quite a little bit of value to them. Um, I guess fans and stuff. What else do we have from this uh, person getting rid of their mystery box collection? We got a Wade Davis rookie card. He had a terrible year last year, just absolutely awful, but it's still a Wade Davis card. And uh, Wade Davis has been a perennial all-star before um, just losing it in Colorado. There's Corey Seager rookie card. Another nice one. That one deserves a sleeve. We got a nice 1965 Don Pavletic. Another original uh, vintage card. How about we go back to 1956 and get a Bobby Hoffman card. 1956 New York Giants. Not in the greatest shape, but still really cool. A card's probably worth at least a couple bucks. Uh, Josh Johnson, Johnson, Herb Pennick. We got a Manny Margot rookie card as well. That's another nice one. Uh, Kenta Maeda rookie card. Really uh, quite excited with this mystery box for you, Trav. Um, some good stuff. Uh, some commons in here like the Allen & Ginter fish card. Um, but the inserts are quite nice. How about a Cody Bellinger rookie card from 2000 and what's this? 2017 Topps Heritage 1968 style design. Check that one out. Very nice. A heritage and rookie of Cody Bellinger. I really 
am interested what you guys are going to say the total value of this box is worth. Um, another Colton Wong. Rookie card. Uh, Nick Swisher. What else? We have Clayton Kershaw base card. Brian Goodwin. Let's turn these bad boys around. We have another original. Bob Bruce. We'll put that in the sleeve pile. 1967 tops. Miguel Sano rookie card. So, Trav, if you like your rookie cards... I think you're pretty much set. I know you, you do giveaways from time to time. You could give away a lot of decent rookie cards to your subscribers. Um, wow, this is actually really, really nice. Taiwan Walker, first Bowman card. Uh, what else do we have here? Adrian Gonzalez, who's now since retired. Derek Norris, Mariana Rivera, Donruss card. That's a nice one, 2002 Donruss, a... Uh, John Gray rookie card framed diamond or gypsy king queen. I thought that was a diamond king for a second because I'm used to the diamond kings and a Cleon Jones story booklet. I don't even know what this is, but still pretty cool nonetheless. All right, we have an Aaron Judge rookie card just hanging out in there. How about that one? Aaron Judge freshman flash from Topps Chrome 2017 Topps Chrome, I believe. Very, very nice. I love uh, Aaron Judge rookies. Anytime you find those. And an Aaron Judge rookie to boot. That I don't know, maybe the best card in here. Maybe there's more um, as we work our way through. Are you kidding me? An Anthony Rendon first Bowman Chrome card. Amazing. Anthony. We got Jimmy Rollins right there, which is a nice one. How about our next one? It looks like it is a game used Brandon Morrow jersey there with the Cubbies. A great card right there. Another vintage card, 1966. Original Stan Musial, 1960. Ryan Dempster. What's the next big hit surprise going to be that's going to make me all scream? Well, not scream, but get excited about this mystery box i hope you guys like the mystery box monday series one of you guys actually suggested that i start doing these picking up mystery boxes a michael brantley rookie card very nice great player right there make sure you hit the subscribe button and also while you're at it please like this video and uh we, we've been doing content daily videos every single day so make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything and here is another rookie card of george springer uh, our second george springer rookie 2014 tops update it's his rookie debut uh, that's a great one as well we got a kevin euclid's numbered card out of 625 so i guess i can honestly say no garbage in here at all uh, what is this there's a um Beckett number 114 SCBC out of 10. I don't know what this is, but um, still kind of interesting. We have some packs here. It looks like there's a team bag. I wonder what this could be. Um, maybe just maybe this is like the commons. Maybe the whole left stack is going to be all commons. Maybe it's going to be the Rangers team set. So we have the Rangers team set here. From 2010. We just opened that on the Patreon page and did uh, 2010 Tossback Tuesdays. You guys know I do Throwback Thursdays here on the main channel, but I've been doing video. A nice Nolan Ryan franchise history card. That's after his seventh no hitter, I think. Uh, very, very nice stuff. We also have probably, um, oh, it's a rack pack of 87. We got BJ Surhoff, rookie on the top. Be nice to find a Barry Bonds on the back. But uh, he might be hanging out in here for you, Trav. I'm not going to open it up. I'm going to let you do what you want with it. Uh, very nice pack right there. I was thinking for a second there we'd have like a 90 Donruss pack or uh, 90 Fleer, uh, 91 Fleer. But no, 87 rack is definitely a good one. And Andrew Benatendi, first Bowman card. How about that one? So, again, make sure you check out Trav's channel and uh, maybe you can – convince him to give some of these cards away to you guys or you could work out trades as uh, Trav loves his cards and probably would be more than willing to um, trade some cards for some packs or whatever. We got a Cedric Mullins just because we have to have a Cedric Mullins uh, in our um, video. Of course, there's Manny Mota, 1966 tops. We got a Cole Hamels, Jose De Leon rookie card. All right, we're on the left-hand side of the stack right now of the box. We got a Sean Manaya. That one is a purple parallel. Um, it looks like it's not numbered. Uh, still pretty cool. Are you out of your mind? Christian Yelich first Bowman card. We were just after Christian Yelich's rookie card the other day in 2013. Tops update. 
And this dude just tosses in Christian Yelich's first Bowman card. And I, I, I paid $29.99 for the box plus about $10 shipping. Uh, $40 and have already pulled Aaron Judge rookie, uh, Anthony Rendon rookie, two George Springer rookies, an Alex Bregman, Bregman rookie, and a Christian Yelich rookie card as well. Very, very nice one. This one isn't worth quite as much as the 2013 Tops update, but it's still a very, very solid, absolutely solid card, and it's not even in the sleeve. We're going to have to get that one sleeved up for you, Trav, for sure. Um, super pumped about that. We've got an autograph coming up. It looks like it, an Andrew Benatendi rookie card. Again, our second Benatendi. we got Craig Wilson. Used to be a slugger for the Buccos. I think one year he had 30-plus uh, home runs. Um, kind of cool, not really worth that much money anymore, but a nice one. Nonetheless, there's Jose Altuve and Nolan Ryan is the last one. And by the way, there's something else at the bottom of the box. That looks like an, uh, I don't know, five by seven or something. And it looks like it's autographed as well. So we have a nice autographed picture coming up. Um, let's see what else is in this box. Dansby Swanson rookie card from 2017 Tops Heritage. Very, very nice card right there. That's another one we were after with 2017. I like 2017 a lot. Lots of good rookies in that class, along with Bellinger and Dansby Swanson and Aaron Judge. Um, Salvador Perez rookie card. He's a major star. Was hurt all last year, but definitely people respect Salvi Perez. Another original card from the 60s. What else do we have in here? There's Craig Sager, first pitch. I like that card a lot, Craig Sager. No longer with us, but an awesome dude. That guy could really make people smile. Um, don't know much about the NBA, but I do know Craig Sager. How about a Bregman rookie with Yuli Gurriel, 2017 Tops Heritage. Very nice. Well, Trav, uh, I was a little worried about anytime I post the mystery boxes for sponsorships, um, I'm going to be a little nervous. You're going to get complete trash in there, but you definitely hit the jackpot. We have a game use jersey of Mitchell Denning, uh, another original card there, rookie performers. Love the stuff from the 60s, 1961, Richard Drott card. There's a Brandon Crawford Chrome, Francisco Garcia rookie card. Love the old stuff. There's a Jeff Torborg 1965 tops for those of you that love your original cards or your vintage cards. Joey, don't call me Albert, or should I say Albert, don't call me Joey Bell. Of course, when he first came up as a rookie, he went by Joey Bell, Bell but went to Albert the next year, and that's a good one. I like Joe. Aaron Judge rookie card again, our second Aaron Judge rookie card, not even in his sleeve. How about that one? Look at that, Aaron Judge. We are looking for this card in our blaster break that we did last Wednesday. I think we opened maybe about 20 blasters of 2017 Top Series 1 and found five or six of this card. It was super pumped every time. You've got another Judge rookie uh, to go with it. So um, Travis Packpool is definitely probably super pumped right now. And you have an autograph in here from a pitcher, it looks like, um, with a red hat. I can see that. I'm not sure who it is. How about a Manny Machado rookie card, a Bowman Chrome? Uh, another great, great hit right there. Trav, you might want to make up your own mystery boxes and do a little break with all these cards. These are awesome. Um, Manny Machado, Crow, Mike Trout, Heritage card uh, from last year, year, two years ago, 2018. Jason Hayward, rookie card. That was a nice one back in the day. He's kind of faded out a little bit, but still, you got to respect that one. How about a Jake Arrieta Bowman Chrome rookie card? There he is in his Orioles uniform. Of course, the Orioles let him go to the Cubs for almost nothing. And we, you can see his rookie card right there. I love the Bowman Chrome. Another great one, not even in a sleeve. Looks like we have a Todd Etler in person auto card right there. Harmon Killebrew. And we have another autograph, Jose Guillen. Like, I don't even, the autographs have been kind of like, uh, they've been okay. Um, this, these guys were, were good back in their day. Not a ton of value to them, but I'm really pumped about the quality of single cards in here. Cindergard, first Bowman card without his hair. Kind of looks a little bit like Roy Halladay there back when Halladay's with the Jays. Of course, uh, Syndergaard grew his hair way out and was traded over to the Mets. That is another great card. 
Let's see if there's any more great rookie cards hanging out in here. We have a Willie Stargell, 71 Tops Original. Beat up, but still an awesome card. like that one a lot. There's a Josh Donaldson Manufactured Patch card. A couple 2019 cards. Jim Maloney. We got a Jorge Alfaro, which is a nice one. Robin Yount. Looks like we have an Ichiro Japanese card. Lance Berkman and Taiwan Walker right there. So there looks like we only have a couple things left in here to show you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this blaster box. We'll be doing this series for at least the next month or so. Call it Mystery Box Mondays. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Tomorrow we'll have a boom box. You guys like the boom boxes, and we are going to bring you May's boom box. Uh, either the high end or the platinum one. I'll do one tomorrow, and I'll do another one, um, which everyone will do tomorrow on Saturday. So both of those will be coming at you this week. Let's check out the other rack pack. Looks like it's 1988 Don Russ. Looking for Tom Glavin's rookie card in there. You can't really tell what's on the back. You got a Gary Gaetti and a Vince Coleman. We can tell you that, Trav. And you also get some card sleeves. To sleeve up your, I guess, your favorite cards. You're going to need these for all these great rookie cards that weren't in sleeves. Um, and at the bottom here, we have some sort of surprise. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to take this apart. With that. I don't know what this thing is. Um, looks like a little piece of a bird's nest or something. It's an autograph of a Philly pitcher. So let's queue up all the Phillies fans in here, especially the one from the 80s. So we can show you this last little piece of memorabilia from our mystery box. Love this box. I would give this one a 10 out of 10. Uh, if I could buy this on, uh, if I knew that it was going to be this good, I would have bought, bought like all of them. Uh, if, I, if I were you, I would maybe pick up the last two. It looks like it's somebody Knowles, um, and it's a, 1980 World Series champion. I don't know my 1980 Phillies that well. The only pitcher that comes to mind is Bob Walk off the top of my head. Um, I'm not even sure if Steve Carlton was with them in 1980 or not, but that's a nice one. Uh, it's an autograph. I'm sure that Trav can either use that in his personal collection or give it away to a Phillies fan on his channel. So, Trav, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys enjoy this version of Mystery Box Monday. We'll be back next Monday for another Mystery Box. And we'll be back every day this week for more videos uh, to keep you guys entertained with some baseball content during this uh, tough time in the world. So anyway, we'll be live a couple times this week. On Wednesday, we'll be live with uh, a break doing 2019 Bowman Chrome HTAs, which is a high-end Bowman Chrome. Only three cards per box, but they're all autographed. Looking for some of the great rookies in that class and top prospects. And also, we'll be breaking 2019 Panini Prism draft picks. Looking for some of the top draft pick autographs. One autograph per pack in that product. Uh, we might be live on Thursday as well. I'm undecided on that. I think I'm going to do 81 Donruss, which will be fun. Hopefully it's not a complete disaster like our first box of 81 Donruss that we did a year ago. And uh, we'll be live again on Sunday night later on this week. Breaking open some 2018 Topps Chrome or 2018 Bowman Chrome. I'll decide on that and let you guys know. But uh, our live streams will all start at 6 p.m. Eastern time, except for Throwback Thursday for Donruss. We'll start that an hour later since it's only one box. So I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button. I hope you have a great rest of your Monday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.